Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and that'll pretty much finish off the mass model of this main part of a house, is I want to go into the layer manager again, and I want to turn on layer zero. So I want to click under the visibility, put a check in the checkbox under visible, and that'll turn on our original uh, JPEG image. Close the layer dialog box there. The reason why I wanted to do that is I wanted to see where the north direction is. So I'm just going to draw a, a, um, a couple of Revit, uh, sorry, uh, SketchUp lines on top of this north arrow so that I can use that to find where north is in SketchUp. So while I'm on probably, we'll just it doesn't matter what layer we're on, but I'll just for the completeness of it I'll change to the ground layer pick up my pencil tool. Now you won't be able to find any snap points here, you're just going to have to do this by eye and trace off this north point. It's probably best if you get a fairly top bird's eye type of view. So the best way of getting a bird's eye plan view is to come across here to your top view tool. Click that and that changes it to a straight top view. Now without orbiting just use your scroll wheel to zoom up and pan and trace off the triangle shapes of this north point just as accurately as you can by tracing off and close up the triangle so that triangle then gives you a little bit of an idea of which way north is which is most important okay so we can probably turn off the uh, JPEG image layer again, so back onto the layer manager and it was on the layer 0 layer, so we can uncheck visible there and close the layer box. This triangle that we're left with now here now gives us the accurate north direct direction. Okay, so a couple of things we'll do now, I'll get you to go to the window menu up the top, drop down window and click into model info, the very top one and when model info dialog box opens make sure you change first of all to the location on the left hand side so when you're in location let's drop down the country drop down box and scroll until you find Australia and the location here on the Sunshine Coast is pretty close to Brisbane so for our purposes Brisbane will be pretty close to it it's at a latitude of 27.5 degrees south 153 degrees east for longitude um, if you wanted to get more accurate with your actual location up here on the Sunshine Coast you could do a couple of things one of the things is uh, SketchUp will actually interact with Google Earth so you can point to your location in Google Earth and SketchUp can capture that actual location or if you've got some other way of knowing your actual latitude and longitude you can click in the set custom location dialog box and actually enter in your latitude and longitude but this will be close enough for our purposes at the moment now the next thing we want to know is we want to select our north angle so coming down to this part of the dialog box at the bottom we can hit the select tool there and the first thing it wants to do is it wants a starting point of our north point so at my starting point is going to be the midpoint of that bottom edge of the triangle which created the north point and then I'm going to give it a direction of north as being this point of the triangle so we've now told SketchUp which direction north is and we can actually if we f if we don't trust that we've actually done that correctly we can actually tick this box down the bottom of the dialog box the show in model and it shows a line passing through our origin of our drawing of our model in the north direction and you can see that that is a direction that is in line with the center point of this triangle out to that point there they would be parallel okay so I normally uncheck that leave that checked so it doesn't mess up our model and I'll close the um, location dialog box. After you've done that location we probably don't need these lines anymore so I could possibly, I think I might select them one at a time because it's probably divided up our ground lines so I'm just going to select one at a time those three lines careful not to select your ground surface 
and we've got our model now we've got some information about our model at actual actual place on earth um, in the southern hemisphere matching our Brisbane location and we've also got a ground plane there so the reason why I went to so much trouble doing that is um, this next bit you're going to sort of like it's fairly fairly um, nice here is you can display the shadows up in your um, shadows toolbar up the top here so if I click on display shadows I can now cast actual shadows based on time of the year and time of day at our location that we set at before so you can easily see here now how you can sort of change the calendar slider to a different time of year so we're somewhere around about the start of February at the moment so it might be somewhere around about there and then you can change your time of day so you can come from a morning casting shadows through to midday through to afternoon okay. and you can leave that slider there anywhere that you might like so I'm going to get you all to leave it fairly early in the morning um, you know you can come so you're casting a nice long shadow like that and I'm going to open up the shadows casting dialog box here because I've just noticed I'm casting two shadows here and there's a reason for that so this shadow settings dialog box here at the moment I'll get you to click on that and I'll get you to towards the bottom of that um, uncheck on ground so you're not going to cast shadows on the ground because what we actually did where, where SketchUp thinks the ground is was actually at our floor level we've placed our ground 300 millimeters below that and to achieve the, the shadow casting on that we've created this extra ground plane down here so you're just leaving it cast on faces so this is where you can see more accurate times of day you can even click into that dialog box and change that to zero zero so I'm actually at 6 a.m on uh, the 10th of February it looks like we are so I might change that just back to something like the 1st of February or something like that 01 February um, and we'll just close that dialog box there okay so we've now got those shadows casting at 6 a.m onto the ground line and we can see how the shadows are being cast on the faces of the building as well as ground there now if you position yourself orbit yourself to a view looking something like that so you're looking at a fairly realistic view of this model zoom in and pan around until your models filling the screen something like that might be a good point to do another save <laughs>